What is up, you guys? It's y'all's virtual friend Godmother, and I am back, okay? Except for I'm not back with another read, I am back with a conversations with Caprice, um, chit chat. You know what? In my mind, I just heard prayers of the light worker. So, <clears throat> we're gonna bring it back to the old days on my channel. If you're OG and you've been here, then you already know. Um, I used to do videos called Prayers of a Light Worker, and it was just me talking, smoking, chilling, sometimes crying, venting, whatever. Just kind of like a prayer, you know, me praying out, crying out to God, to y'all, to whoever. And I don't know why, something just came over me and was like Prayers of a Light Worker. But yeah, so we finna get into it. Today's topic is just I want to say FOMO like the fear of missing out but like the opposite so like being so scared of success um being stuck and we I guess we're gonna get into that um not knowing where to go not knowing direction we finna kind of get into a whole bunch of different things so I'm just, I guess I'm just going to talk. I don't, so I guess we can start it off, like, why I haven't been posting, why I haven't um, uploaded any new videos, whether it's nail content, smoke sessions, whatever. So, a couple different reasons. First off was because my environment. <clears throat> so, I really haven't said anything or you know like i'm pretty sure y'all was probably expecting like a moving vlog and all of this and i got all the content it's literally just sitting in my phone which is why i don't have any storage which is why it's hard to film not an excuse but yeah so basically i got all the content but i'm waiting to post it for a specific reason um so i'm trying to get everything in order i'm trying to get everything together and i want to do it in a specific way like i want it to be <sighs> yeah just the way that i'm picturing it in my mind it's not like i just said like a movie but i don't know kind of like a documentary like i just want to show y'all like what it's like living where i live i live in milwaukee wisconsin and i just feel like the whole moving process the economy right now the market everything that's just going on in my city the violence <clears throat> just it's so much that i just want to talk about and like just unload but it's just i be feeling like it's not the right time i be feeling like i don't have all the knowledge yet i be feeling like i don't got it all together like i don't know everything yet um and honestly i kind of be walking on eggshells like just wanting to make sure that i mean what i say before i say it i guess so that's the thing but i end up moving back home um and i feel like it's affected me so deeply and i'm going through the motions like normally i would come on here and i would grieve with y'all i would vent with y'all i would show y'all everything talk to y'all about everything and while that does help me while that is like my therapy and my safe space and all of that it's not gonna always be like that and the bigger i get the more people are watching me the more eyes i have on me the more the more judgment I face and I feel like it causes me to judge myself it causes me to and it's not even that people are judging me or anything like that I feel like it's me like I'm my biggest enemy I'm holding myself back and that's where the kind of like fear of success thing comes from because <clears throat> I've talked to y'all about it before I've talked to everybody about it before like they're just like I cannot wait to be a grandma I just <clears throat> 
and even my voice got the cracking but i cannot wait to be a grandmother i cannot wait to have a whole bunch of kids and raise a family and um have this big old farm and this big old ranch where everybody can come to and the things that i want for myself are not like my five-year plans they're like in goal plans and as much as i love those goals it's been really hard for me to pinpoint pinpoint which goals I need to set for myself right now that are going to get me there so when it comes to like working and stuff like that it's like I don't know where to go so um my main source of income is my business but right now I have my regulars and for a while it's been okay and it's been cool, but it's like now there's so much I want to do. Like the summer is coming up, my birthday is coming up. I want to be able to vlog. I want to be able to get camera equipment. I want to be able to post really nice videos, really good quality videos. I want to be able to work when I want to, have the space that I want to be able to vlog in my house how I want to and different things like that. And right now I feel like I'm not in that position. Like. Everything that I've been showing y'all for the last three years has been so tragic, has been so depressing, has been so negative, has been so down. And in my mind, it's just like, if I'm tired of it, I know y'all are tired of it. Like, I'm tired of going through shit. I'm tired of coming on Instagram or social media crying and whining and complaining. And it's just like... I feel like that's what everybody sees me as. And this is me just being like hella vulnerable and super just transparent because I haven't been in a while. And living here, I don't have that space. I don't have the alone time. I don't have the peace of mind that comes with having your own space. But I'm learning to appreciate the peace of mind that I do have from the comfort of my family, the togetherness, the love, the the compassion, like just the family orientedness that I was kind of like craving that I wanted to start for myself. Like, oh, I want to start my own family and da da da. That is kind of what I'm experiencing here. It's like I went back to my roots and it's like. <laughs> It's been such an eye opener, but it's also so triggering to me. It's so triggering to be in a space where I had so much trauma. I feel so different being here now because I feel like I'm just so um, down. Like I just feel so helpless. Like I feel like I always need help. I always need comfort. I'm always upset and it's not even that I'm like upset or having a bad day because lately I've been the most peaceful that I've been in months you know but that peace has been created like I've had to create that peace within myself and now it's like I want that to just be my reality. I want that to be what I see. But I understand it's because I don't have that because I haven't fully created that inside myself. I haven't completely found home in myself. I'm still looking for home in that family I want to create. And I'm still looking for home in the money I want to have. I'm still looking for home in the stability. All those things are things that I'm like, like... I need that to be happy. Or once I have that, I'm going to be good. Or once I have this. But. It's not that they're far away. But I got to work to get those things. But I haven't been wanting to work. Because I don't have those things. When you and I know. Depending on what your career is. Some of y'all will understand. Some of y'all won't but i'm a life coach you know so how am i coaching people through their life their life is progressing and you know i mean i'm not 
in that same position to maybe coach them through something. That's what I trick myself into thinking. That's what it sometimes feel like when I'm sometimes doing readings and it be like, dang, we talked about this last month because like I told y'all, I be having mostly regulars. And that's another thing. It's different when you have your regulars and, and new clients coming in because you get different, so many different energies, so many different things come out in the readings. But when you are constantly doing like your same clients, the readings are going to come out depending on whatever they're going through. So if they're going through the same cycles or if what they're going through is kind of like something that maybe I don't understand, I be really having to like tap in and like pull from a source that's not me. That's not me because I don't have those tools. So some things it'd be like after the reading, I'd be like, dang, like I want to write that down. or I want to take note of that because... God not only told that person that, but I need to take note of that too, or I need to listen to that. So it be my mind. It's my own insecurities. It's me getting in my own way, you know, like me stopping myself from just having because should I be wanting things to be perfect? Like I want the whole setup. Like I want to be licensed. I want to be my website to be set up i want to like people purchase things for me and it'd be like how can i explain it because i'm talking about ways to be so i don't want y'all to like purchase things for me y'all probably like what what you sell but i make ways to be so it's not like i have a bunch on hand like i hand make them but it's like, why don't I just have some on hand? Like, why is that not something I'm doing every day? Because that's something I can do every day. I can make a ways be every day. I can post a ways be every day. That's something that I can physically do. Like, when I have downtime, it takes only about, like, two hours. That's two hours of my day that I can spend watching TV and doing a waist bees. Putting on a nail video and doing a waist bees. But do I do it? No. I wait till I get a client. But that's like me telling myself I'm not getting none. And then I tell myself, well, I don't want to spend the money on getting the stuff, you know, like then I'm wasting money and I need that money for when I move. It's like, but investing and getting products and getting, getting things sold and getting myself out there, like that's what's kind of going to move me forward. So like y'all hearing me say, I know all the things I'm supposed to do. I just don't be doing it. I just don't be doing it. For so many reasons that I feel like don't matter. Because I see other people doing their YouTube videos and they be like, oh, I was gone because I was depressed. Or I was gone because I didn't know what to film. And um, my life is boring. I ain't think y'all wanted to keep saying the same thing. And I'll be like, girl, I will watch anything. You should have just posted it. I'll be thinking that in my head. Um... Are giving them suggestions like, girl, you can do this. We'll watch this, da 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 da. But then I don't do it for myself. So it's like I'm in a different position, but mentally, my mind not like catching up. Like it's not there yet. Y'all know. I've talked about it before. It's kind of like a mental health thing, but I've done mental health meet spirituality videos in the past where I kind of talk about the fact that I have DID, um, dissociative identity disorder. It's kind of where I disassociate, like period. That's the best way I can explain it. If you don't understand, I will have the link to that playlist in the description box below. But yeah, so I feel like parts of me know that I'm in a different position, but the parts of me that know I'm in a different position are very, like, seldom. Like, she's so wise and she's so not boastful. You know, it's not like, oh, I gotta da 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 like, I gotta da 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 like, I don't got, like, it don't be that. It just be like, I'm not gonna play. Like, with myself, with other people, with that's what it be but then there's other parts of me that are so stuck in my trauma so stuck in my trauma that it's crippling like 
I will sit in certain patterns. I will sit in certain routines just because that's what I'm used to, just because that's what feels normal to me. That's what feels like something when I don't have nothing that feels like normal. Nothing around me feels like normal. Nothing around me feels like it's mine. Like, I'm confined to this one little room. This one little room. And a part of me just feel like a failure. Like, I feel like... Oh my God, I can't believe it. Like, I should have my shit together by now. Because I look up and it's going to be May. Jonathan passed away in May. So it's like, how the fuck has it already been a year? Like, there are no excuses. It's not grief holding me back. It's not me not having a job. It's not me being depressed. It's not me being in a toxic situation. It's not me being pregnant. <laughs> like, th there is no excuse anymore for me not having my shit together and not getting my shit together. But I'm still living in it. Like, I've been through worse, like I've gone through worse. It's like, in my mind, it's like, well, you just back at home with your mama, like, get your money up, and then it's not like you can't just get another house. Maybe you got to downsize. Maybe you can't live where you lived, how you lived, you know? Like, but shit, you in your 20s, like, <laughs> when I'm fucking 50 or 60 or however old, this is gonna feel like so long ago, bro. <laughs> because last year felt like so long ago, like. I don't know, it feels so far away. Cause like me touching Jonathan or being pregnant feels so long ago, but at the same, I feel like such a different person. Like I can't even remember who I was then I do but I don't remember how she felt and what she was in like how like and it's like now future me can say like oh I would do so much better and da 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 but am I doing so much better? I look at my life and I look at my social media and it just looks so depressing. It makes me not even want to post because I feel like everybody not depressed. Everybody not going to relate. Everybody not going to understand. I need to get out of trying to be understood all the time because that's my problem. Always striving and reaching for being understood when... I don't even understand myself. Sometimes I just want that to be okay. I want that to just be enough. I want that to just be enough. But yeah, I done let it all out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If y'all did, give it a thumbs up. Y'all, let's get our community back up. Leave a comment down below. Share something with me. Talk to somebody in the comments. Um, pay it for, say, give somebody a compliment or um, reply to somebody's comment. I don't know, like somebody's comment. Leave y'all businesses or y'all social medias down below. Connect with one another. Connect with me. Um, I'll have all my socials links in the description box below. 
but yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below share it on all your social medias and i am out of here you guys Thank you.